Hello and welcome to your new video about measurement. This time we are still going to talk about amplifiers and we are going to talk about a special amplifier, the operational amplifier. Right? What is an operational amplifier? Well, you will see, first when I explain it, it's not that different to a, what we think about an amplifier. Yeah? So, the typical symbol of an operational amplifier looks like that. Yeah? This is an operational amplifier, a uh, symbol of it. We have a plus input, we have a minus input, we have power connection, uh, they are usually drawn here. Uh, so we have here somewhere plus UB, a minus UB. Here we have an output. And we have a positive input and we have a negative input. So here we have an UP for positive, here we have an UN for negative and here we have a UD for difference. Right? This is the difference. And here we have an UO, an output voltage, and this is the K, gain factor of the operational amplifier, multiplied by the differential voltage here. Yeah? So the operational amplifier is not... <sighs> not. Yeah? We will talk about this. But the basic the idea is that the differential voltage of the operational amplifier is the output yeah, combined with some gain. Okay, so how does the output look like? If I will draw a graph now. So we have here to a certain extent We have here plus UB, we have here minus UB, all right, and here we have UD, yeah? and here we have UO, all right, and the bigger looking like that, that's how this is looking. And here we will stay. Yeah. This we will not see, yeah, because we cannot go beyond the, the supply voltage, right? In reality, we will even stay a little bit below. Uh, yeah, real, reality we will stay a little bit below. Simply because of internal losses somewhere. Yeah. So yeah, that this is how this would look like. So we have here and here this area and this area. Here we are an overload. Load overload. And in between we are normal operation. Right? So here, this fits. UO equals K with multiplied by AD. The K is the steepness of this thing. Yeah? What is with this K? We will see. We will see because this K should be as high as possible, but that's already very specific. This is how an operational amplifier is working. Yeah? Take the differential voltage, make a gain out of it, and that's it. Yeah? 
and the differential voltage here yeah, UD equals UP minus UN. So if the differential voltage is zero, then UB or UN are, for instance, zero. Huh? Or both 100 volt, or both 1000 volt, or both 10 million volts. Huh? UD is zero, so the output is zero. Is this true? Well, would be true in an ideal world. We are not living in an ideal world. So there is something like a common mode rejection. CMR common mode rejection and usually let's say CMR equals 10,000 what does this mean? 10,000. Yeah. This means the differential voltage is gained by a factor 1000 more than a common mode voltage. Right? So UD is gained by a factor of CMR, common voltage rejection, equals 10,000 more than common mode voltage. So, in example, uh, UD equals 1 millivolt. Okay? would produce some output. How big must be UP and UN, the common mode voltage, be that the same output will appear? Huh? Common mode voltage to cause the same output 1 millivolt multiplied by 10,000. 1,001 milli is away, so it's 10 volts. If UP and UN is 10 volts and we would have a common mode rejection of 10,000, then they would cause the same output as 1 millivolt differential voltage would cause. This, is, this means CMR 1,000. Usually, this CMR is not given as you know such number. It's given in decibel. Yeah. So the common mode rejection in decibel is 20 times logarithm of the common mode rejection. Yeah. In our case, yeah, in example, 20 times logarithm of 10,000 yeah? and you can try it yeah? you can try it uh, type in 10,000 press the lock button not that way lock base 10 of 10,000 I mean it should be 4 yeah? it's 4 yeah? so this is 20 times 4 and this is 80 decibel so 10,000 is 80 decibel. Yeah. This is the usual way how to give it. Yeah, it's given in decibel and very usual value is 80, 100 is very good already. Yeah. But this is and this is how you can then get to the factor you need. Yeah. Divide it by 20 and then press 10 raised by the power of whatever is there. In our case 4. And that's 10,000. Right? So this is base. This is the base how an operational amplifier is working. Right? In next video we're going to uh, talk about uh, what 
different operation modes such operational amplifier has. And then we will discuss what is an ideal or as ideal as possible operational amplifier. This will then be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.